Hello friends, welcome to Story by Rakesh. This is the first video of the series that I am planning to create where I am going to teach you one technology in one video. So this could be a video for the beginners, but I am going to cover each and every aspect of the technology. So today we have a CSS. So if you see here, we are going to understand about the CSS in one video. So what is CSS? What it do? Why we use CSS? Everything I am going to clear in this video. So this video is presented by myself. And if you want to know about me, my name is Rakesh and I have a experience of 15 plus into web development. So I I am one of the guy who can teach you correctly how this CSS works because mostly I have worked with the front end technology from last 15 years. And I also have the knowledge of back end technologies as well. So I'm going to help you in case you need. You can ask me anything in the comments and I will try to answer those things in the next video that I am going to propose. So uh, now let us understand what we are going to cover in this uh, whole video. We will start with the introduction to CSS. Then why we have to learn CSS? What are the main advantages of CSS? Then we will understand the basic structure of CSS, how to write a CSS. So those things I'm going to cover in that. Then we will have some uh, styling fundamentals. So how the uh, styling is applied in your HTML. Then one of the very important concept is box model. That is uh, uh, what I'm going to explain in this video. And then very, very important concept that is called a specificity which mostly you know senior level css developers also get confused so i'm going to teach you about that thing in this video so overall i hope you will love this video and in case you love this video do share with your friends and we are going to wrap up the video and now let us understand what is css what is css see the css uh the full form of css is called cascading style set before css we need to understand in the internet the pages that we use to see any page like if you if you say uh, google.com or uh, gmail.com yahoo.com any website so if you see right now the website looks very pretty but if you remove the design uh, uh, maybe if you remove the border of the image, if you remove the padding between the text, if you remove the columns. So right now, what you see in those websites like yahoo.com, it is a magazine like style. So if you remove the CSS, because see uh, the HTML page, that page contains two things. One is your HTML and the second is your style sheet. If you remove the style sheet, from the page, you are only going to see the basic content of the page. So using a styles only, using CSS only, the page looks better. So uh, the CSS is being used to change the appearance of the page. So basically CSS is used to make your web page beautiful. Okay. I hope I have repeated so many times beautiful and, and all those things. You must be understanding HTML only give you content, but CSS give you makes it beautiful. Okay. So now let us go to why learn CSS. See this is very simple why to learn css so nowadays whenever you are going to create a website that website needs to look beautiful if you get a website from your company or your client so anywhere whenever you are trying to design your website the website should look pretty it should look good it should look beautiful so to make it beautiful, you need to use this tool CSS. So that's the answer of this question. Why we learn CSS. Now, if you go into the detail, the CSS separates the content from design. So content is created using HTML, but the design 
is created using CSS. Now, when you use CSS in your website, the CSS file can be separate from the HTML. So HTML is here, CSS would be here. So any change that you want to do related to the design of the web page can be done in a separate CSS file. Now, one of the most important thing is the responsive layout. Now you see your website should look good, not only in desktop, but in your tablet, your iPads or your mobiles. So in your mobile also, if you see, if you watch anything, it should look good. So to make it look good, we are going to use a CSS, right? So that is why CSS is very, very important for all of you to understand if you are trying to make your career in web, into web development. All right, so let's have something deep into the CSS. So we are going to unveil the basic structure of CSS. So see, we have the most important thing over here that is called selector. Okay, so this, what is selector? So see, you have created a web page. Now you want to change the style of a particular location of your web page. Let us say we have a div. Now that div, we can give a ID or we can give a class to that particular uh, div element or we can say we have a H1 tag. We have a P tag. So we have lo lots of you know different elements. We have a couple of uh, divs inside our HTML. Now we want to design those elements so what we are going to do we need to first select what we need to select we need to select let's say let let, let, let me make a very simple example we have a html page and in that page we have one h1 heading okay now i want to change the color of that heading to to change the color of that heading we first need to select select what that element now to select, we are going to use selector. Second example, we have a div with a class called hello. Now, if I want to select that particular div with class equal to hello, then what we are going to use? We are going to use a selector. Now that is called a class selector. Uh, I will explain. And the third one is ID selector. Now, suppose we have uh, one div that is uh, that is having an ID main now we only want to select and style that particular div for that we can use id selector so if you see here we have one element selector one class selector and third one is what id selector so if you see here the element selector could be h1 p the class selector in class selector we are going to use a dot so if you see here, we have used dot important. And for the ID, we are going to use has, okay? So now if I show you one example, yeah, uh, here you have used, uh, for example, let, let us say we have H1, okay? And in H1, I want to apply color. So color, I want to give red, all right? So this H1 is basically a selector, okay? So we are going to select all the h1 of the page what do we are now now what do we want we want to change the what the color now this color is basically called property okay so we are we are going to change this color property and what is the value we want to assign the value we want to assign is red so now what will happen it will this css will change all the h1 colors to red so i hope this basic structure of css is clear to you the next one is box model all right now <clears throat> see the box model is very very important in css now to understand box model see every element itself is a box so let me show you now let us say we have h1 tag okay and th th this is h1 let us say this is the h1 heading all right this text now this is the content of this h1 tag the box model explained if you see there is a gap between the text and the border this this red line is a border this is called border and this space is called padding and after this space this was extra space is called margin all right uh, so this is how the box model works so basically you will have a content of the 
element then the from that contained to the border the a spacing is called padding and then we have a border after the border we have margin so this is uh, the concept of box model so we will have a um, content that content could be your text or image we will have a padding i explained it to you we have a border and then we have a margin now if you see this example uh, so the padding and margin can be applied uh, like uh, top then right then bottom and then left so this the first it will be applied here over here on the top this is second this is third and this is fourth so if you just write padding 10 it will apply padding to all the sides top right bottom left but if you want to specify only specific like uh, padding right or margin left you can also specify that way now the developers who are very experienced uh, they might confuse uh, on this topic that is called a specificity so what happens actually so suppose you have a class applied to an element also at the same time id is also there in that element now what will happen so suppose like uh, let, let's say you have a h1 okay this is your h1 element now this h1 element has a id called um, maybe id1 and it also applied a class class one now which now the id says uh, the class the color of the h1 should be red and the class says the color of the h1 should be green so what will happen which uh which uh, style will apply to h1 element so so the logic is the rule is always id will be will have a more value so we have to actually calculate it in numbers so id whenever you use it it has a value of 100 class whenever you use it well it contains a value 10 and then uh, we have a uh, element element the value of element is one so if i say this id id is what like 100 so 100 so 100 is greater than uh, the class that is 10 so uh, it will apply the color red because id is more powerful than the class so when uh, if you if i go to this text so when multiple css rules target the same element a specificity determines which style is applied uh, it will calculate the uh, score in numbers and the weight of this id is 100 and the weight of the class is 10 and the weight of the element itself is 1 so this is how you are going to calculate the uh, specificity and that way you are going to know which uh, style is going to be applied to the element now we are going to wrap this chapter uh, I hope uh, the video is clear to you. So in this um, uh, lecture, we have covered the selectors. What are selectors? How to select the particular element? We can select using class. We can select using element selector or we, even we can use the ID selector. We also understood the properties, how to change the property of an element. See, in this example, I just give you a very basic, like I uh, updated you about the, the how to change the color of uh, element we can also change the background color we can also change the padding margin there is a lot of properties that we can study in css let me know in the comments what you exactly want to learn inside css and accordingly i can create a video for you as well next one is what like see we need to dive more uh, deeper into advanced CSS like pseudo classes, positioning and animations. So the world of CSS is very, very large. Even we have uh, CSS frameworks like Bootstrap where you can directly use the class names from the Bootstrap and apply to your HTML page. And your whole page can be, uh, it can look very beautiful uh, with few classes. What you need to do, you just need to call the Bootstrap CDN in your website. Okay, so these things I can explain you later. If you want, just write in the comments. And what I can tell you, practice makes perfect. So if you want to be a good uh, you know into CSS you want to be a CSS developer practice practice and practice right so if you do practice then only you are going to learn if you write 
padding multiple times then you will uh, actually understand what this padding means if you are going to use position uh, relative or whatever like okay so whenever you write a code in css that is the best way to learn css if you just understand what is css that's it then it is not going to work you have to work you have to practice all right so i hope this whole video is clear to you thanks for listening if you like this video do subscribe my channel and share this video to you your friends okay uh, let's meet up let's catch up in the next video till then jai hind